Okay, today we're doing gutter screen stinker number 10B. We're back to the spiral roundabout we did before. I believe you could get this roundabout in any direction. And we're going to take different options today. So today we're going down the hill that we looked at last time. But we're going to come up at exit 2. That means the line will come off the roundabout before exit 1. So we'll move pretty much straight into the centre. Because... Um, taking the second exit the lane line will have already sprung out from the roundabout by the time I get there so I'm going straight so I'm keeping on the left the right lane is right only here following it around looking to go straight ahead all clear on the right so the lane line has already come out from the roundabout here so I'm into this one and keep it over here next exit is the second check in the mirrors left signal and into a 40. So last time you remember we came down that hill, we took, we took the third exit on the right. This time we've taken the second exit straight ahead, pretty much straight ahead. So as you're approaching that you're going to be in the left hand lane. When you get to the roundabout you'll find it's, there's an arrow saying straight on or left. So you can keep in that left lane. But because you're taking the second exit on a spiral, the line will have already come out of the roundabout before the first exit. So you would move straight into the centre. Check in the mirrors for these lights up ahead, change the road surface. And uh, I'm going to go up to the next roundabout, swing it around and uh, we'll head back down and do it from another direction. So we're heading back down to the spiral now and uh, we haven't done this direction yet so this will be the first one in this direction and we're going to go right, third exit. So where do you think the lines will be pushing you out to the centre? We're going to take the third exit which is a right turn. Where would you expect to see the lines coming out from the roundabout for you to take that third exit? A moment. That's correct. If you said before the second exit, that's correct. So, because I'm turning right here, I'm going to keep on the right at the roundabout. Again, I'm taking the third exit, so the lane lines will come out from the roundabout before the second, and that's what I'm looking for. So, I shall keep close to the roundabout as I'm passing the first exit. Rear and right mirrors, right signal. The lane is marked right turn, which is what I want. I'm going to move straight across to the roundabout because I haven't got to the first exit yet. And the lines will be before the second. So straight across to the roundabout. Now we should see the lines coming out any moment. There it is, signal off, out to the centre. I'm approaching the second exit, I want the third. So we're not signalling left till we pass the second now. Mirrors and left signal to come off. And again, back into the fifth thing. In like a lamb, out like a lamb. Some of these terms I use, like in like a lamb and out like a lamb, I picked up from a policeman I went on uh, some training with a wonderful instructor. Uh, and, and in his day, got to be in the top five in the country, he taught the uh, so Prince William, Prince Harry, is that good? And uh, so a lot of my terminology I picked up from him, and I'm very grateful. That's Chris Gilbert. Okay, going left, first exit. I'm going to wait for the guy on the right. He's gone left, so we're okay. Out onto the roundabout. So we're heading back down the spiral. This is an ordinary regular roundabout at the moment. I'm taking the first left, so rear and rear, rear and near mirrors. I'm not going to signal till I'm level with the garage because somebody might be planning to come out. So I'm now going to put my signal on for safety's sake. Nothing on the right, we're safe to keep moving. Hugging the kerb on the left as we come around. Watching the vehicle on the left, we're okay. Taking full. Again, as I said in the earlier video, be careful when you come down here. 
really, I, my pupils always come down here too fast. Um, especially if you come off the collector road or one of those fast roads or you come from coastal, the adrenaline's going a little bit and if you're not careful, you'll overdo it down here, so keep it to 30. I'm going to take the second exit off the roundabout, the same as I did last time. So where will a line come out then from the roundabout? It'll come out before the first. So when I come onto the roundabout, I'm going to move straight into the lane uh, for the second exit. So rear and rear mirrors, going second exit, so I'm not using a signal. So I don't want that uh, line line over there on the right, I want to be here. Mirrors, rear and near, the signal to leave. Heading up towards Chelmsford Cross. Coming into 40, so I can go to the welly, signal off. A uh, bit of welly was not something I learned from Kishkilba, by the way, that's a bit too, uh, it's a bit too low brow and common for the, for, the, for the car like that, but uh, you know what I mean. I say give it a bit of welly, put your foot there. So we're doing 40 and a 40 on a dual carriageway. We've got a cycle lane on the left, we've got ghost lines, ghost markings, or ghost island down the centre as they call it. And uh, we've got a good following distance, separation distance from the vehicle in front. And I'm going to go back down again, I'll do a U-turn up in the next roundabout. We'll go back down uh, and do the spiral, but we'll take this time, we'll do the second next one coming down to the spiral rather than the first. And that should do it for today. Okay, we're coming back down to the spiral. Uh, last time we went right, this time we're going to go straight second exit. So I'm on a spiral, going to come out to spiral, I'm taking the second exit. Where will the line come out that guides me into the correct lane? It'll come out before the first. So it's going to come out somewhere around about where I come into the roundabout. So I'm looking probably to go straight into the centre here. Find coming down here that the right lane is marked right only, so obviously we don't want that, so we've got to use the left lane and approach the roundabout. But we're going to go straight into the centre lane to come off. Check in the mirror, approaching the roundabout. I'm going to signal for the policeman behind me, and I'm taking the left lane, which shows a straight or left, into the left lane. Now I'm going to go straight into the centre when I come onto the roundabout here. I'm taking the second exit, that line has already come out. So there we are, we see the left to leave, and we're in the correct position. So I hope that's helpful, we've, we've uh, approached the roundabout from every direction, we've taken most of the options, not all of them, but most of them, but I trust you get the idea. So if you want the second exit, the lane line comes out from the roundabout from the first, if you want the third, it comes out from the second, going full circle, it'll come out before the third, and so on. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, see you again soon.